The continuous casting and rolling production line can be used to produce copper rods, aluminum rods and aluminum alloy rods. The copper rod continuous casting and rolling production line provided by Lint Top combines the advantages and characteristics of similar equipment from American Southern Wire, German SMS and Italian Proposi. It can produce 8mm bright low oxygen copper rods with electrolytic copper or 100% scrap copper as raw materials. If electrolytic copper is used as raw material, the production line is equipped with shaft furnace and holding furnace. And when scrap copper is used as raw material, it is equipped with reverberatory furnace. The molten copper enters the five-wheel continuous casting machine through the longer and pouring part and then through the front traction, rolling shear, straightening, feeding device enters the continuous rolling mill. After multi-pass rolling, through the high pressure reduction cooling and washing device, the finished copper rod will be coiling. Aluminum rod, aluminum alloy rod CCR line can produce aluminum rods and aluminum alloy rods of different grades due to the different among crystal wheel rolling mill and driven form. The production capacity is also different. Taking the aluminum alloy rod continuous casting and rolling production line as an example. The aluminum ingot is melted in the melting furnace and the aluminum liquid flows into the holding furnace through the launder for composition, adjustment, refining, stirring and standing. Then it flows into the online degassing and filtering device for degassing and slag removal and then enters the continuous casting machine. Under the action of the cooling system, it forms a continuous casting billet. The billet enters the induction heating device through the straightening machine, the front traction, the rolling shear, and the bridge passing device. This induction heating device can ensure the process temperature requirement of the billet entering the rolling mill and has the function of heating and adjusting. Then billet enters the continuous rolling mill. After multi-pass rolling, it enters the coiling device through the quenching device for continuous coiling. At present, three-roller type continuous rolling mills are relatively common, but this type has a high maintenance rate, a large amount of spare parts used, and unstable product quality. Our new two-roller type continuous rolling mill is gradually replacing it. The full two-roller type continuous rolling mills adopts cantilevered rollers, and the rollers are staggered horizontally and vertically. A large compression ratio is adopted during rough rolling. The billet has a large deformation at high temperature, so that the rolling state can achieve the effect of pushing, squeezing and pressing, so as to ensure the quality of the billet. Micro-tension or tension-free rolling is achieved during finish rolling. The frame adopts the principle of oil-liquid separation, which reduces the amount of emulsion circulation and the concentration ratio. The roller adopts a double groove design, which doubles the service life. Lint Top has entered the world's advanced level in the low oxygen copper rod and aluminum alloy rod, continuous casting and rolling production line. The products are exported to South Africa, the Middle East, North America and other regions. Welcome to visit our company and conduct technical discussions.